IMF approved China's yuan as elite reserve currency. That means that it joins an elite group of currencies, the dollar, the yen, the euro and the pound, in the special drawing rights basket. To be included in this club a currency must be freely usable, widely used, and widely traded. According to the IMF, the organization reported that the yuan met this criteria earlier this month. According to the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, the yuan overtook the yen as the fourth most used currency for trade and settlement in August. It makes up about 3% of global trade. Hindur Brothers received Lifetime Achievement Award at Asian Business Leadership Forum 2015. Hindur Brothers on 29 November 2015 were honored with the prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award at the annual Asian Business Leadership Forum series in Dubai. The prestigious award recognizes the most powerful and influential business leaders. Robert Lewandowski awarded with four Guinness World Record certificates for scoring five goals in nine minutes. Polish professional footballer Robert Lewandowski's nine-minute, five-goal haul for German football club Bayern Munich against Wolfsburg was officially recognized on 30 November 2015 by Guinness World Record. International Day for the Abolition of Slavery Observed Globally The International Day for the Abolition of Slavery was observed globally on 2 December 2015. The day is observed to focus on the elimination of human trafficking, child labor and other forms of modern-day slavery. India France launched International Solar Alliance. India and France on 30 November 2015 launched the International Solar Alliance in Paris. The alliance was launched jointly by PM Narendra Modi and French President François Hollande during the United Nations Climate Change Conference. Sereni maestro Ustad Sabri Khan passed away. Renowned Sereni player Ustad Sabri Khan died on 30 November 2015 in New Delhi due to breathing problems. India's Thakarnoop Singh won gold medal in World Bodybuilding and Physique Championships. India's Thakarnoop Singh on 28 November 2015 won gold medal in the 7th WBPF World Bodybuilding and Physique Championships. Justice Tyrit Singh Thakur sworn in as 43rd Chief Justice of India. Justice Tyrit Singh Thakur was on 3 December 2015 sworn in as 43rd Chief Justice of India by President Prenab Mukherjee at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi. Thakur succeeded incumbent Justice H. L. Datu who retired on 2 December 2015. Navy inducts decoy system Marich, a fully indigenous decoy system that can divert underwater torpedo attacks on ships and submarines, has been developed by Visakhapatnam-based Naval Science and Technological Laboratory. The torpedo defense system, Marich, was recently inducted into the Indian Navy. Marich has been termed a complete package involving sensors and decoys for defense against torpedoes. Uttar Pradesh government launches first international festival on birds. Uttar Pradesh government has launched international festival on birds in a bid to promote state as an international bird watching destination. The first of its kind festival was inaugurated by Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav at the National Chambal Sanctuary. 44th Navy Day observed on the 4th of December. 44th Navy Day was observed on the 4th of December 2015. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended greetings to naval personnel and commended their dedication to protect the maritime interests of nation. The occasion saw screening of Navy Telefilm 2015 titled Empowering India Through Maritime Security and Indigenization on DD National. Himachal Pradesh becomes first state to launch rotavirus vaccination project. Himachal Pradesh has become the first state in the country to start rotavirus vaccination project under the Universal Immunization Program. The project was launched by Chief Minister Verb Singh from Durams Allah in District Kangra, by administering the rotavirus vaccine drops to the children aged less than 5 years. Tata Trusts partnered with Khan Academy for free online education. Tata Trusts and Khan Academy on 6 December 2015 announced a five-year, not-for-profit partnership to enable free online education for the Indian market. The partnership will adapt and build on Khan Academy's existing resources and tools to serve the specific needs of the Indian learner.
Ministry of Railways flagged off first double-decker Goa Mumbai train railways Minister Shuresh Prabhu on 6 December 2015 flagged off the first Goa to Mumbai double-decker Shetabdi train through video conference from Pan Arji, Goa. The fully air-conditioned double-decker train is the first of its kind in India. The train will run thrice a week between Margao and the Lokmanya Tilak terminus in Mumbai. The double-decker train will cover the distance in around 12 hours. It has eight compartments with a seating capacity of 120 in each compartment. Singapore replaced Mauritius as top source of FDI into India. Singapore replaced Mauritius as top source of foreign direct investment. FDI into India during April to September of 2015-16 financial year. An announcement in this regard was made by the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion of Ministry of Commerce and Industry in the first week of December 2015. Commemorative coins of rupees 125, rupees 10 released in honor of Baba Saheb Bhim Rao Ambedkar. Prime Minister Nahandra Modi on 6 December 2015 released two commemorative coins of 125 rupees and 10 rupees, as part of the 125th birth anniversary year celebrations of Dr. Baba Saheb Bhim Rao Ambedkar. Atlas P rocket lifted off with Cygnus cargo spaceship to International Space Station. A United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the OA-4 Cygnus cargo spacecraft with much-needed supplies blasted off towards the International Space Station on 6 December 2015. The current Cygnus mission would be the first U.S. delivery of cargo since April. The last time SpaceX's Dragon capsule reached the station, a Cygnus last reached the station in July 2014. Indo-Russia bilateral naval exercise Indra Navy 15 began in Visakhapatnam. Indo-Russia bilateral maritime exercise Indra Navy 2015 commenced on the 7th of December 2015 in Visakhapatnam. The exercise epitomizes the strategic relationship between the two nations. The 8th edition of Indra Navy will be conducted in the Bay of Bengal till the 12th of December 2015. Hetero became first Indian company to receive DGCI's approval for hepatitis C drug. Hyderabad-based Hetero Drugs on 8 December 2015 announced that it received the approval of Drug Controller General of India, DCGI, to launch fixed-dose combination therapy Lidopasvir Sophus Buva. The product will be available under the brand name Lidisof in India. Kapil Chopra to head World Tourism Council Kapil Chopra, President the Arbor Group, has been appointed as the Chairman of World Travel and Tourism Council, India Initiative, CI, for 2016, a statement from the hotel group said on Thursday. Myanmar inaugurated Yangon Stock Exchange Myanmar on 9 December 2015 inaugurated a new stock exchange, named Yangon Stock Exchange, YSX, with plans for six companies to start trading in March 2016. Prakash Kumar Singh is new sale chairman. After remaining headless for over three months, state-run Steel Authority of India on Thursday got a new chairman in 57-year-old Prakash Kumar Singh. The task of the new chairman would be daunting considering the current state of affairs of the industry and the company which has reported a net loss for the first two quarters of the current fiscal and is set to report a net loss after a gap of 13 years. Dilip Kumar gets Padma Vibhushan Award. Legendary actor Dilip Kumar was today presented the Padma Vibhushan by Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh at the Thespians residence in suburban Bandra. Construction work of Tapi gas pipeline started. Construction work on the Tapi, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India. Gas pipeline project started in Turkmenistan on 13 December 2015. The work started after the button to begin the welding process of the project was pressed. The button was pressed by Vice President of India Hamid Ansari along with Prime Minister of Pakistan Nawaz Sharif, President of Afghanistan Ashraf Ghani and President of Turkmenistan Gabangali Burda Mohamedov. The Tapi project is intended to deliver Caspian Sea natural from the energy-rich former Soviet Republic Turkmenistan to three South Asian countries.
Vijaya won gold in the 59th National Shooting Championship. Vijay on the 13th of December 2015 won the center fire pistol gold in the 59th National Shooting Championship at the Dr. Kani Singh Range in Tughlaqabad in New Delhi. The 15-day event began on the 1st of December 2015 to win the gold. Vijay scored 588 points to Pip Gurpreet Singh by 2 points. Vijay won the silver medal in the 25 meters rapid fire pistol event in 2012 Olympics held in London. Salman Rushdie honored with Mailer Prize for Lifetime Achievement. India born author Salman Rushdie on the 10th of December 2015 was awarded the prestigious Mailer Prize for Lifetime Achievement. American experimental performance artist Laurie Anderson presented the award to Rushdie at Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. New York City. The prestigious Mailer Prize honors writers who fully exercise their freedom of creativity and thrive on dialogue and debate. Myanmar launched its first UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in Lake. Myanmar on the 11th of December 2015 launched its first UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in Lake in Shan State. The in Lake was designated as UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in Paris in June 2015. With this, Myanmar fulfilled its commitment to biodiversity and ecosystem conservation under the UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Program. The inscription of in Lake as one of the World Natural Heritage Sites by the UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, came after that of Myanmar's three Pau ancient cities in June 2014. Indian cyclist Debra Herold became world number no. 4 cyclist. Indian cyclist Debra Herold on the 11th of December 2015 became the first Indian female cyclist to be ranked 4th in the world elite women ranking for the 500 meters time trial event. The ranking was issued by Cycling World Body International Cycling Union. Besides the Indian team also improved its world ranking to 13th. India is the highest ranking Asian country in 500 meters time trial. China fetched the 15th spot in the ranking. World Bank approved 1.5 billion US dollar loan to support Clean India campaign. The World Bank on the 15th of December 2015 approved a 1.5 billion US dollar loan for the ambitious Clean India campaign. The loan was granted to support the government in its efforts to ensure all citizens in rural areas have access to improved sanitation and end the practice of open defecation by 2019. Pakistan successfully tests nuclear-capable Shahini a ballistic missile. Pakistan has successfully tested the nuclear-capable Shahini a ballistic missile with a range of 900 kilometers. The test of the missile was aimed at revalidating several design and technical parameters of the weapon system. However, the location of the test was not disclosed by Pakistan government. Aaron Kumar Jain appointed as Chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes. Senior Revenue Service Officer Aaron Kumar Jain appointed Chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes, CBDT. His appointment was approved by the Appointments Committee of Cabinet, ACC, headed by Prime Minister Nahandra Modi. Arctic region hits record high temperature over land. NOAA. The average temperature over Arctic land for the year ending in September 2015 was the highest on record indicating that the Arctic is warming twice as fast as other parts of the Earth. It was revealed by the annual Arctic Report Card of National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, a federal agency of U.S. for monitoring condition of the oceans and the atmosphere. Renowned violinist Itzhak Perlman won 2016 Genesis Prize. Renowned Israeli-US violinist Itzhak Perlman on 14 December 2015 was announced as the 2016 Genesis Prize laureate for his accomplishments as a musician, teacher and advocate for people with disabilities. Perlman will receive the award on 23 June 2016 from Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at a ceremony in Jerusalem. Lok Sabha passed Atomic Energy Bill, 2015. The Lok Sabha on 14 December 2015 passed the landmark Atomic Energy Amendment Bill, 2015. The bill seeks to overcome difficulties encountered in the setting up of new nuclear projects and enhancement of nuclear power generation. The bill was passed with a voice vote from both Treasury as well as opposition benches. It will now be referred to Rajya Sabha for ratification. 
Upavi Chandler wins gold medal at National Shooting Championship. Upavi Chandler from Rajasthan has won a gold medal in the 59th National Shooting Championship in Delhi. She won the gold medal in 10-meter air rifle event in women's category by shooting 207.8 score in the finals. She was followed by Jeetakshi Dixit at second spot and Anjum Maujil at third spot. ISRO PSLV C-29 successfully launched six Singapore satellites into space. Indian Space Research Organization on 16 December 2015 successfully launched six satellites of Singapore into space. The satellites were launched using the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle C-29 from the first launch pad of the Satish Dahan Space Center at Sarai Harikotu in Andhra Parid. The Boats Brothers and Indian Independence an insider's account authored by Madhuri Bose. The Boats Brothers and Indian Independence, an insider's account, Madhuri Bose, the grandniece of Nataji Sabha's Chandra Bose. The book titled The Bose Brothers and Indian Independence, an insider's account authored by Madhuri Bose was released on 1 November 20th. WTO approved Afghanistan's membership terms to join as 163rd member. World Trade Organization on 17 December 2015 unanimously approved Afghanistan's WTO membership at the WTO's 10th Ministerial Conference in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. With this, Afghanistan will become the 163rd WTO member and the ninth least developed country to become a WTO member since the organization was established in 1995. R.K. Mathur appointed as CIC, former Defense Secretary R.K. Mathur has been appointed as Chief Information Commissioner, breaking away from the convention of appointing the head from among the serving information commissioners. President Prenab Mukherjee earns Carwood Award for Outstanding Global Leader in Open Innovation. The President of India, Sri Prenab Mukherjee received Carwood Award for Outstanding Global Leader in Open Innovation from Yuke Barkley Her School of Business today at Rashtrapati Bhavan. British novelist Peter Dickinson passed away. British novelist Peter Dickinson passed away on 16 December 2015 following a brief illness in Winchester. Hampshire. He was 88. He was a prolific novelist for adults and children. Jeff Williams appointed as Chief Operating Officer of Apple Inc. Jeff Williams was on 18 December 2015 appointed as the Chief Operating Officer, COO, of Apple Inc. The post of COO of the company had been lying vacant since Tim Cook's ascension to position of Chief Executive Officer of Apple Inc. in 2011. Second World Internet Conference concluded in Luzon. China. The three-day-long Second World Internet Conference was concluded on 18 December 2015 at Muzhen in China. Muzhen is located in Zhejiang Province in eastern China. The conference was held with theme and interconnected world shared and governed by all, building a cyberspace community of shared destiny. It was jointly organized by the Cyberspace Administration of China and the People's Government of Zhejiang Province. India's Biggest Wildlife Rescue Center commissioned in Nagpur India's Biggest Wildlife Rescue Center named as Goyawada Zoo, and Wildlife Rescue Center has been commissioned at Goyawada near Nagpur, Maharashtra. The center was inaugurated by Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, in presence of State Forest Minister Sadar Manganti War. UN launched 2016 International Year of Pulses. Union Minister of Agriculture Adam Mohan Singh on 18 December 2015 announced that Union government had been taking considerable steps to improve production of pulses in order to reduce country's dependence on imports. Miss Philippines Pio Alonso Word Spark Crown Miss Universe 2015 Miss Philippines Pio Alonso Word Spark was on 20 December 2015 Crown Miss Universe 2015 at the final of 64th edition of Miss Universe held in Las Vegas, the USA. She was crowned by Miss Universe 2014 winner Paulina Vega of Colombia. Miss Spain Marla Lagan Arroyo crowned Miss World 2015. Miss Spain Marla Lagan Arroyo on 19 December 2015 was crowned Miss World 2015 at the Beauty of Crown Theatre in Sanya, 
China. Rolin Strauss of South Africa crowned Meyer Lilligana as her successor at the end of the event. It is the first time Spain has won the title of Miss World. Chen Yi in FC crowned 2015 ISL champion. Chen Yi in FC was crowned as the champions of the second Indian Super League, ISL, football tournament on 20 December 2015. In the final played at the Jawahal Nehru Stadium in Fetada, Goa, Chen Yi in defeated the hosts FC Goa, 3-2. Goa was leading 2-1 till the 87th minute, but an own goal from their keeper, Laxmik and Katamani. In the 90th minute and Colombian Steven Mendoza's strike seconds later helped Chennai win the title. Mendoza, who finished as the tournament's highest scorer with 13 goals, bagged the golden boot as well as the hero of the league award. FC Barcelona won 2015 FIFA Club World Cup. FC Barcelona on 20 December 2015 won the 2015 FIFA Club World Cup to win the title. Barcelona defeated Argentina's River Plate by 3-0. The final match was held at the International Stadium in Yokohama, Japan. From Barcelona, Luis Ayres of Uruguay scored two goals, while the remaining goal was made by Lionel Messi of Argentina. With this goal, Messi became the first player to score in three finals after leading Barca to victory in 2009 and 2011. SpaceX successfully launched and landed Falcon 9 rocket. American aerospace company SpaceX on 21 December 2015 achieved the historic feat of successfully launching and landing Falcon 9 rocket. The Falcon 9 rocket was successfully launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida carrying 11 satellites to low Earth orbit and was also successfully landed after 10 minutes to the Earth. It is the first time in the history of rocketry that a rocket has returned back after delivering a spacecraft to its orbit, so that it could potentially fly again. This exercise of using reusable rockets will help in reducing the cost of access to space making explorations a more realistic goal. China launched damp satellite to shed light on mysterious dark matter. China on 17 December 2015 launched the Dark Matter Particle Explorer satellite to shed light on mysterious dark matter. It was the country's first space telescope and launched on a Long March 2D rocket from the Jiaquan Satellite Launch Center. The purpose of the satellite is to search for smoking gun signals of dark matter, invisible material that scientists say makes up most of the universe's mass. New Zealand cricket captain Brendan McCullum announced retirement. New Zealand cricket captain Brendan McCullum on the 22nd of December 2015 announced retirement from all forms of international cricket. He will retire after the two home test series against Australia, which will begin in February 2016. At present, the batsman and wicketkeeper is New Zealand's captain in all three forms of the international game viz, tests, orders and 2020. Andy Murray won 2015 BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award. Andy Murray of the UK on 20 December 2015 received the 2015 BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award in London. Zimbabwe announced to adopt Chinese currency yuan. Zimbabwe's Finance Minister Patrick Chinamurza on 21 December 2015 announced that the country has planned to adopt the Chinese yuan as legal tender. It will be done in return for debt cancellation worth $40 million in the second week of December 2015. Pawan Kumar Agarwal appointed as CEO of SAI. Senior Riaz Officer Pawan Kumar Agarwal was on the 22nd of December 2015 appointed as Chief Executive Officer of Food Regulator Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. He succeeded Yadva Singh Malik. International Tennis Federation announced winners of 2015 World Champions. International Tennis Federation on the 22nd of December 2015 announced winners of 2015 World Champions. The awards were conferred on the basis of players' performance in the 2015 season. They will receive their awards at the 2016 ITF World Champions Dinner on 31 May 2015, in Paris. During Roland Garros, men's world champion, Novak Djokovic, Serbia, women's world champion, Serena Williams, the USA, men's doubles world champions, Jean Julian Roger, Netherlands, and Horia Tekau, Romania, women's doubles world champions, Martina Hingis, Switzerland, 
and Senior Mirza, India, ITF Junior World Champions, Dalmi Golfi, Hungary, and Taylor Fritz, the USA, ITF Wheelchair World Champions, Jisk Griffion, Netherlands, and Shingo Kunida, Japan. RBI extended deadline to exchange pre-2005 notes to 30 June 2016. The Reserve Bank of India on 23 December 2015 extended the deadline for exchanging pre-2005 currency notes of various denominations by another six months to 30 June 2016. The decision to extend the deadline was notified by the Apex Bank in a statement issued in Mumbai. 30th National Consumers' Right Day observed. 30th National Consumers' Right Day was observed across India on the 24th of December 2015. The day provides an opportunity to highlight the importance of the consumer movement and the need to make every consumer more aware of their rights and responsibilities. The Consumer Protection and Action Committee celebrated the day by distributing complaints forms, information brochures and other consumer rights literature freely to the public. Modi inaugurates new Afghan parliament built by India in Kabul. Prime Minister Modi received a warm embrace and welcome by Afghan President Ashraf Ghani in Kabul where he arrived on Friday for delegation-level bilateral talks and for inaugurating the new Afghan parliament building. Calling India and Afghanistan's friendship antiquated and bound by a thousand ties, Ghani thanked India for its valuable assistance as Afghanistan weathers hard times. Veteran actress Sadhana passes away in Mumbai. Yesteryear Hindi film actress Sadhana, known for popularizing the fashionable Sadhana cut, passed away in Mumbai at the age of 74, according to reports. Good Governance Day the 25th of December. Good Governance Day was observed on the 25th of December 2015 across the country. The day was observed to mark the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Atal Bai Hari Vajpayee. To mark the occasion, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare J.P. Nadda announced four new IT-based initiatives for providing citizen-centric health services. Good Governance Day was established in 2014 to honor former Prime Minister Vajpayee by fostering awareness among the Indian people of accountability in governance. Tech Mahindra launches contactless wallet mobile money. IT major Tech Mahindra has launched first of its kind tap and pay contactless digital payment wallet mobile money for the Indian masses. Mobile money has been billed as India's first commercial on FC ecosystem rollout that would allow consumers to convert cash into e-cash for making payments. Mobile money is a prepaid wallet issued in the form of a near-field communication contactless tag that could be used to tap and pay for goods and services. Indian Navy successfully test fires Barak 8 long-range missile from INS Kolkata. In a boost to India's maritime prowess, the Navy today successfully test fired the nearly 70 km range surface-to-air missile Barak 8 from INS Kolkata, paving the way for installation of the system, developed jointly by India and Israel on board country's frontline warships. The Navy described the maiden firing of its newly developed long-range surface-to-air missile as a significant milestone in enhancing its anti-air warfare capability. Union Government Links LPG Subsidy to Income Union Government has announced to link LPG subsidy to income of consumers in order to ensure that the subsidy benefits go to the targeted group. Henceforth, the LPG subsidy will not be available to LPG consumers if the consumer or his, her spouse has taxable income of more than 10 lakh rupees. Bjornisberg named as tournament director of 2016 Hockey India League. Sweden's Bjornisberg on 30 December 2015 was appointed as the tournament director of Coal India Hockey India League, Hill, the Premier League for Hockey in India.